pom pom pom. Hoo 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 pom. There you go. Warm me now. Warm me now. Woo! Sales coming in on the iPhone. Danny Sosa, let me know if you can hear me loud and clear, Danny. Can you hear me loud and clear? Yeah. Awesome, go. Awesome. Let me just get a little bit lower because it's too high. Ooh, there, 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 there. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah. Can you see? Can you guys see me here? Cool. Awesome. How you guys doing? Welcome to this live. We're just going live because we popping in live to see what's up with you guys. Okay, I have a marker on my hand, so it means that we're gonna be doing some stuff on the whiteboard, okay? But uh, while we, guys, while we wait for some people to pile up, to pile up, to pile up, what are the questions you guys may have? What should we talk about? Uh, ideas and stuff to actually create businesses. Actually, I wanna say something. Um, I'm gonna roll up a video for you guys. It's all about improving your credits and getting a uh, one to three X. What's that, bro? One to three X points and cash back. Okay. With our with credit cards, so instead of spending the money on debit card on Facebook, you can actually, guys, take advantage of this and learn how to improve your credit. How to improve your credit and how to actually get credit cards that they give you one to three percent in points, cash back. That's really cool. So guys, stay tuned for that because I'm gonna release a website with a video explaining what it is. Always use Facebook ads with a credit card. Yes, don't pay. Yeah, exactly. They don't pay, exactly. <laughs> if you, if, Danny says, if you don't, you're stupid. <laughs> Bro, some people cannot do this, and I explain why, and some people cannot do this because their credit is fucked up, right? So, if you have bad credit, you're here. If you got good credit, you're here, right? This is good credits, bad credits. But there's good news to this, that uh, my friend, my friend uh, has a badass course, extremely cheap and affordable for any of you guys that it teaches you how to go from 400, 500, okay, 450, 500, upwards to 750 plus in very short period of time. So if you're here and you can get here, then you can get there. So that is the technique, okay? The credit. I just want to talk about this because that is extremely important and crucial because a lot of people launch businesses, but they don't have the capital, the cash flow because they don't have the mindset of like, shit, if I fix my credit, I can get credit lines and credit cards. What about what about this, bro? Raising upwards of a hundred thousand dollars on credits that you can use for your business. You know what I'm saying? So that is what's coming. I'm actually gonna do a live webinar with him next Tuesday. So be on the lookout for that. Be on the lookout for that because I'm actually be on the lookout for that because I need to improve my credit to get fucking credit lines. My credit line is like suck right now. I have maybe 7.5, 7.6, I have uh, 11 and I have three. So I don't know, about 35K in credit lines. That's what I have, which I'm not even using right now because you know, I, I haven't just used it yet. But what I'm using is, I'm, I'm using Amex, okay, Plump. So Amex Plump gives you 1% cash back. I think it's 1.5% cash back. Don't call me, I haven't checked. So Amex Plump, it's cool. Why? Because it's a business credit card. It's not like a credit card. They don't give you money. You gotta deposit the money in order to use it. So for example, if you deposit $10,000, instead of using your debit card, you just use, is the audio okay guys? When I turn around, is the audio okay? I, I, I'm on, on the wireless microphone? It's, it's all good? Let me see. No, that is the audio from... No, I'm not on the wireless microphone, guys, and I'm sorry to break it the news to you. I hate that sound because I'm an engineer and this is not terrible, bro. This is not, this is not acceptable. What about now? Dude, I have a $500 microphone that Danny gave me, Daniel also gave me, and, and I cannot use it? This is ridiculous, bro. Come on, I gotta be wireless, man. What about now? There you go, that's what 
I'm talking about, man? Come on! Fucking room microphone. That sucks, man. So now if I turn around and I talk to you like low and sexy, you can hear me loud and clear, right? Give me a second, guys. It's the delay. I want to see. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. So, guys, the, the Amex Plump, okay? You guys can Google it. Amex Plump. Plump. There you go. So, you deposit money. You deposit money and then you use it and then you get one to two percent cash back. So you deposit money. So it's it's pretty much uh, a, a credit card that you gotta put the money to spend it. So it's pretty cool, you know. Um, and you can see the cash back in a weekly basis. So if you are guys, please, man, we're about to uh, enter in August. August and app is gonna be fucking smoking hot on Shopify. And any of you guys should have advantage. And any of you guys should be setting up your your pretty much um, how can I say it, bro? You you need to get ready for the game, okay? And ready for the game, you need to have this in place. You need to have merchants in place. Merchants in place, cash flow, okay? And you need to have fulfillment in place. I think it's spelled wrong, but I'll fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Fulfillment. I think it's with two L's. Backwards. But anyways, merchants have more than one. And if you get three, even better. One, two, three. One could be PayPal. Could be Stripe. And could be Authorize.net. Because if anything happened, and I, by PayPal I mean you need to have at least two, dude. Okay, one, two, and Stripe the same shit, same shit. One, two, and authorize the next one is good. If you don't have this in place and you start scaling like a motherfucker and start printing money with a product that is hot, you're gonna be in trouble with this. Because remember, guys, once you start doing a lot of good numbers, I'm talking about almost six figures daily, you, you're, gonna, you're gonna need to rotate this, okay? By rotated, I'm telling you this because I fucking lose so much money last year, that this year, I, oh man, this year I'm ready, bro. I am ready. So, cannot wait. Guys, let me explain you. PayPal, have two. So what's going on? You do 20K on this one, and then you do 20K on the other one. And we're talking about this daily, okay? This is daily revenue. And guys, please stretch your mindset that you are going to do it because it's possible for anyone to do it. A scaling up is just matter of this. Cash flow. If you don't have the cash flow, you cannot scale. Okay? You cannot scale. You need cash flow to scale. Cash flow. What is cash flow? I'm telling you, man. Credit cards. Money on the bank. Okay, so you need to, those two, if you don't have the money on the bank, you're going to need credit cards. You need credit lines of credit card. And the reason why I want to introduce you to these guys on Tuesday is because I think this is so beneficial for everybody because the more credit cards you get, the more cash flow, cash flow and the more uh, uh, cash back you will make. So this is, you need to have this in place. This is crucial right now, especially right now, Shopify is fucking tripping, bro. It's actually... Sending like the activations and like uh, extra stuff. Look, I got one of the stores. I got actually hit in like three different stores. Uh, your Shopify payments might be on hold. Okay, it's because they need documents. They need this and do that, bro. They're getting they're getting uh, strict, you know. So so why you want to use Shopify payments? The best thing is like especially Stripe. If you have an older if you have an older Shopify account, you're going to be able to put a Stripe. So you can go to Stripe.com and open multiple Stripes. Because with one single Stripe account, you're going to be open Stripe. You're going to be able to open multiple, multiple business. You're going to be able to multiple business accounts. So you're going to have one, two, three, four Stripes. And you can... 
actually rotate the money to all of those within one main stripe. That is a cool thing. But the bad news is that for those who recently opened a, a Stripe account, I'm sorry, fucking Shopify account, where is it? Right here, Gabriel, come on, man, get this shit together. If you open a recent Shopify uh, account, and I'm talking about recent from literally like September last year, and you are in USA, you do not have the option to add Stripe to your Shopify, okay? And that's why it's fucked up. But if you have an older Shopify account, like my, one of my accounts, I actually have three older accounts, I was able to remove Shopify payments, fuck you, fuck out of the way, and then put a Stripe.com, which I can get multiple accounts and rotate the money, and I can get multiple PayPal accounts and rotate the money. Now, PayPal, if you're gonna scale, I give you another tip. On PayPal, you gotta be careful, man. Try to use someone PayPal account that you can buy or borrow or whatever that is more than five years old, at least. Okay, five years old. Um, the reason why is because if you open a brand new PayPal account and you start doing transactions and you go from zero money to freaking, I don't know, 10,000 right away, they're gonna flag you. And, and that's, that's my experience, bro. They're gonna flag you. And if you open another account, they're gonna link those accounts and what you're gonna do is create a freaking mess, okay? So that's what I'm telling you. You have to think about this stuff before we even get to the prime, which is August. August is, dude, it's prime time, August. So you need to have your merchant in place, so start thinking about backups on that. You need to have your cash flow strategy in place, credit cards, money on the bank. So if you have good credit, good news for you, bro. The, this guy teaches you how to get the best credit cards and even gives you a script so you can get on the phone and get approved for those credit cards. I was literally right now on the bank, uh, as Moses, three hours ago, opening a new LLC bank account because I opened the LLC last week. So now I open a new bank account. And while I was waiting for this guy to get me on all the shit set up, I literally went to Credit Karma, one of the tips, one of the hack, went over Credit Karma and I looked for good odds on credit approval on cashback credit cards. And I was able to get approved like that for, for actually $8,000 on credit line with uh, 1.5 cashback. And I just did a little in five minutes. The reason why is because Credit Karma knows your salary, knows your, your loans, if you have car loans, how, home, all the stuff. So they, when they tell you, you got a good odds of getting approved, get a credit card, man, because the more credit cards you get, the more credit line you'll get and the lower the threshold. Let me just explain something else to you. Guys, Tuesday, this next Tuesday, guys, please, please, this next Tuesday, this is crucial for any of you guys who are running a business. This next Tuesday, we're going to do a live webinar with the guy himself who knows his shit. I'm just a student of him, and since I got results, I'm like, yo, we, we just might as well. We just got to share with everybody because it will be selfish not to. So let me just erase this. Take a picture because this is, guys, this is the core blood of your business. If you don't have this shit on place, and fulfillment, we haven't even talked about fulfillment. Guys, before you even scale, before you even scale, make sure communication is key. Communicate with your supplier, okay? Communicate with your supplier in order to scale because if your supply does not contact the factory to make sure there's enough inventory for you to scale, you're gonna be fucking everything up, okay? You're gonna be fucking this, boom, Boom, boom. It's like a domino effect, bro. Customer service goes through the roof. Merchant account goes down because they're going to be like, yo, what's going on with the charge box? What's going on with all these complaints? What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? So listen, we're doing drop shipping, okay? But you got to be smart. You got to take care of the customer first. If you don't put that customer, that avatar in first place and think about how you can be more efficient for this guy who's purchasing a product that I love to get, then you you gotta take care of those you know once you have that in place let me just delete, uh, erase this real quick guys guys i really recommend you to get this one this is not a regular windex it has a sense of it and it's called fresh it smells so good bro check it out oh smells so good right right or wrong moses yeah man he cleaned the whole wiper and i was like ah it smells good i've been here yeah dude
telling you, regular Windex doesn't smell like anything. This Windex, ah, oh, smells so good, bro. It smells like roses. Hey, for real, dude. I love it. No, I'm not kidding you, bro. I'm encouraging you to, if you got a whiteboard, get that, get that one. Look at it right here. Right here. Look at it. Smells really good, actually. So, guys, let's continue with this. Let's continue with this. What I'm telling you to do is go to Credit Karma. Dot com. And then you're going to see when you log in, create an account. Don't be lazy. Create an account. You have this, and then you have the credit cards. Okay? Click on credit cards and look for cash back credit cards. I'm actually going to do something real quick for you. Someone says, where's the link for Tuesday's webinar? Uh, the link for Tuesday's webinar is going to be on every single page that you are looking at me right now. And I'm going to actually attach a video explaining what it is with a link to actually register for the webinar. So, uh, you know, whoever is serious about this stuff, you, you can get it as soon as Thursday so you can start implementing that night. Let me just show you this real quick. This is some tip that you can implement right now today. Give me one second. Give me one second, guys. One second. Also, real quick, someone's asking, do you still recommend free shipping for the stores? Free shipping, depend on the product, depend on the product. I do, I do charge shipping now because I'm selling low margin products. For example, if you're selling a $13.99 product, okay, I do charge shipping of uh, $5.99 or $5.94 shipping. Okay, now if that product, the same product, you sell it for uh, let's say $19.99, I do free shipping. Okay, but this is the trick. I always start here because the, the cheapest the, the, the offer looks, the more add to carts I will fire, okay? And uh, you know, I'm closer to the purchase on the pixel. We're talking about pixel level here, guys. So that's why sometimes it's better to warm them up like this and charge shipping because when people are already on shipping, they already fill up the first page. So they already take action on doing something and once someone, that's called micro commitment. When someone is already doing something on the funnel, it's more likely that they're gonna convert. So right now, what I'm implementing right now is I'm charging shipping, but I'm actually lowering the front end offer, okay? I'm lowering the front end offer. Always, I'm telling you, I'm selling products upwards of $200 that uh, we don't charge shipping, right? And I thought we have free shipping. Yeah, free shipping on $200 and we got $120 margins. $120 margins. Um, and then we, we don't charge, it's free shipping. Okay, but once you do low ticket items that the cost for that is like four bucks, you sell it for 13 plus that, you know what I'm saying? So you get a healthy profit. We're talking about at least $14 profit, but once you sell a lot of volume of those, you know, it, it adds up. So, so it's the same thing. You can scale to the moon a product that is only $14, $14 profit or even $10 profit. You can scale it to multiple si uh, um, six figures, even seven figures a month. So it's easier to probably do one of those, but uh, your CPA is going to be way more expensive. Requires more cash flow. Okay, to do high tickets. To do high tickets, you can do it's all good, but it requires more cash flow. So if you're someone who's in the position that is like trying to get a product to sell because you're tight on money, you need to start here, bro. And try to do products that are solve a problem. Like I'm telling, like, uh, like uh, you know, could be cosmetics, gadgets, um, you know, stuff like that. General stuff that are solve a problem, uh, you know, um, and that's the easiest way. Give me one second, guys, because I, I want to actually show you this. Give me one second. I want to show you this this tip because this is actually how I don't want, uh, I don't want the app. Credit karma dot com. There you go. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show you how I got approved in literally 10 minutes. 
And I think everyone on this call should have credit karma. If you don't have it, please get it. One second. Creditcarma.com. Okay, so now I'm gonna log in and show you the recommendations inside my my shit. I literally took me two minutes because you don't have to provide as much info because Credit Karma they do affiliate with the credit cards. Since they have so much data already, you just gotta put a pretty much read agreement, click and sign, and that's it. You don't have to. Uh, oh, and I put salary. You don't have to put too much stuff. So it's very quick. It's not the same. If you go direct to the website of the credit card, bro, you, you, they, got, they ask you for a bunch of shit. So it's better to go through like credit karma. So you see now it's loading. You see my credit right now is like 675 sucking. But I do have credit cards recommended to me with cashback. And I got approved for AK on that one. So let me just show you. If you go to credit cards, on top, you go to credit cards, um, bro, sign up to this shit, it's free and it doesn't cost you anything. So then you'll see very good, you see those very good odds to get approved. Man, when Credit Karma tells you very good odds to get approved, you literally get approved in a matter of seconds, okay? So for example, uh, I got this one, really recommended to you guys. Um, it's called The Freedom. Chase Freedom Unlimited. It means that you get unlimited points back on cash, cash back, okay? It says 1.5 cash back unlimited. So you can spend 100 grand, 200 grand, $700,000 a month on Facebook and you just gotta use it and pay, use it and pay, use it and pay and then you're gonna accumulate 1.5% cash back. So let's do a math real quick. If I get to spend, last year I spent $3.5 million, actually more, like four. $4 million on us times 1.5. That is a salary, bro. $60,000 on cashback. That is amazing. Plus all the benefits, points that you get to travel free and all the shit. So, guys, it's easy as that. It's, it's easy as one, two, three. Easy as one, two, three. Look, this is another credit card. Uh, it's one to three percent cashback. Okay, but it doesn't say very good. It says good odds. So this one, it's this one right here, city, it says very good odds to approval. And it's like, what is the cashback for this shit? No cashback. So what I would like to do right now is click on cashback right there and only filter the credit cards with cashback. Guys, is this helpful for you guys? Because I'm not going to waste my time and your time if this is bullshit to you. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm trying to do is like, and tell you, it's like, this is the math that you need to acquire once you understand the credit card game, which, by the way, is going to be next Tuesday, the live webinar with, uh, with this guy. Let me just show you. This is the problem, and this is where we get uh, wrong education on credit cards. And I went to a seminar on real estate, and this is where I opened my eyes on credit card because I was like, I was listening to my wife and my, my mother-in-law and all this stuff because my parents don't live, unfortunately, here. So they don't know anything about credit cards. In your wife, people don't use credit cards. So here they know and they were like, don't get into credit cards. Don't, get, don't request more credit cards because that's bad debt. Listen, it's good debt. Let me explain you why. You need to be above, I'm sorry, below 30%. Below 30% in order for your credit score to improve. Credit score. Okay, so once you, for example, if you want to go up 750, you need to be below 30%, meaning if you have three credit cards and your credit cards are, let's say, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, pay attention, kids. I feel like a teacher now, for real. And your credit use on this credit card is, is $400. Guess what? You're at 40%. And this one, you have $800 use. Guess what? You're at 80% of usage. And this one, you have it at $750, Guess what? You're about 75% usage. So the overall of this is going to be like 78% pretty much around. I don't know. I'm just making it up. So when you are at 70% of usage on credit cards, okay, your credit will go down. Fuck, that fight looks like a fucking snake. 
550. Your credit will go down dramatically. Now, if I'm telling you, oh, Gabriel, you got very good ass to get approved for this credit card, and then I get approved on the fourth credit card, right? For $3,000, guess what? Now, the average of these is not gonna be 78%. It's gonna be probably 43%. It's gonna go down, why? Because my credit line increased, and that's what I'm telling you. The more credit cards you can get, the better your credit improves. It's fucked up! I'm telling you, I couldn't understand this shit. But people don't know this shit. So this is gonna be explaining that the next Tuesday. And trust me guys, once you learn these hacks and you get more and more and more and more and more credit cards activated it, they give you the more and more and more money, your usage will get lower. But if you listen to someone who doesn't know about business, who doesn't know about the credit hacks, they will tell you, don't get more credit cards. It's about debt. You're crazy. You're going to get in more debt. Don't get more credit cards. Bro, if Credit Karma tells you very good ads to get approved, get it. Trust me, get it because your average is going to get lower. Your beacon score is going to go up. They're going to give you more credit cards. And guess what? Give me more. And then what happened? That shit goes lower and lower and lower. My credit goes higher. That shit goes lower. You know what I'm saying? You get the math? You get the math? Did you know? Did you know about that? No, did you know about that? I'm about the 30%, but not. But not that. I'm like, yeah, telling yeah. you, man. But you I'm know what? They're doing advertising on Facebook and they're cash back and they don't have really much to do with that. You know what I mean? No, of course. It's a win win situation. Yeah, if you know if money. you know how to play the game, and but that's the thing. For, Obviously, but listen, if I open a credit card line of 3,000 and I don't use yeah. it, I don't care. My, my, my average credit usage, it goes lower and my credits improve and they give me more. And guess what? If I needed it because I needed it for Facebook ad, I have cash available to me as a loan. And especially to scale. Dude, I'm telling you, man. Guys, so when someone tells me, I don't have money to open a business. They're just crying and crying and crying. They're not opening their eyes to the possibilities of like, oh, how can I leverage my, my resources, credit fucking karma.com, my resources, see where am I standing right now and see what I can get in my hands in order to invest in something. And I'm talking about, for example, whatever you invest, that's why I paid $24,000 for one single fucking mastermind and like six grand for the course that I lead me into the mastermind where I got upsell by myself because I was like, man, fuck, man. If I'm gonna learn, I'd rather be there with the men himself than just going through the modules. You know what I'm saying? So guys, any investment, any investment, and we're talking about investment in general today, right now, okay? So hopefully you guys, you guys can apply this, some of this stuff. So every time I go live, I like to talk about actionable stuff, right, actionable? I made up that word, so that word is called actionable. It means that I, it's something that you can actually grasp and take action on it. Thomas are very helpful. Yeah. JD I'll, says the best man business mindset. Yeah, dude, let me just tell you something else. Guys, if you are in USA, or you are in Australia, or UK, or Canada, or whatever the fuck in the world you are, bro. Okay, what you need to do is you need to contact, contact, a CPA guy, which is uh, an accountant, okay? Get on the phone with them. My sister, which is in Uruguay, by the way, third world country, motherfucker. <laughs> Uruguay, we, bro, we got kicked out of the World Cup. Hey, listen, bro, Cavani didn't play, so that was not fair, man. I'm pissed off about that. Anyway, for another topic. Uruguay, my sister was able to talk to my accountant. By the way, if you guys wanna call my accountant, Give me a hands up and I will post the phone number so you guys can harass on him and tell him Gabriel Beltran sent me, so help me out. Yeah, no problem, he will help you out, okay? Listen, my accountant was able to create an LLC for my sister in South Florida for only $400, an LLC. Now, look, I don't live outside United States, so I cannot speak too much about living outside of the outside United States, but if you are in the USA, Okay, you are here with me. 
you should contact a guy like that. You should pay for being US $170 if you open it in South Florida. If you don't have an address in South Florida, you should take a trip down here, get a cognac with me, smoke a cigar, and go and open yourself a PO box, okay? And open a bank account as well, okay? A bank account under the LSC. And this is basic stuff, guys, but some people don't know because some people who get started on e-commerce, myself, years ago, I didn't even think about, fucking, I need an LLC. Why do you need an LLC? And then the LLC, you need to turn it into an S-Corp. You need to eventually turn it into an S-Corp, okay, to get benefit on taxes. Now, let me explain you this. If I tell you, look, man, I know you're broke. I was broke, too. And I know I'm asking you, let's say, six grand for a course that is going to help you get knowledge about how to do this shit and how to create your own business. And if I tell you, listen, man, all you need to do is open a fucking LLC, borrow the money, get some loan or whatever the fuck. And that investment of six grand, I'm just guy making this up so you guys can understand something. Some people don't understand because some of you guys spend a lot of money in courses and mastermind and stuff like that. And this is going to actually open some of you, not everybody, because we, we got people who know this, some of you guys' eyes. Because what? Every single investment you make into knowledge. What is the word? Knowledge. Okay? Every single investment into knowledge is 100% tax deductible. Okay? It's 100. And now I'm not an accountant, so don't ask me too many questions. That's why I'm telling you, contact my CPA guy. He will be more than happy to help you. But every single investment that you make into knowledge for your own business will be 100% tax deductible. So when I talk to someone that I wants to change their life and they're like, man, I'm sucking. I'm desperate to change my life. I'm so sick and tired of living nine to five. I want to do what you're doing. But when you tell them, yo, it's going to cost you six grand, they say, oh, no, man, that's way too much money. They'd rather go to school or, or university for nine years, pay 150K, get a title, and, and then when they get a title, what do they do with the title? Nothing, bro. It costs you nine years, 150 grand in debt, okay, because you didn't pay that. You got a student loan, which, by the way, a funny story about student loan. Back in 2015, my wife go, was getting actually student loans to pay fucking rent. How fucking depressed is that, bro? I couldn't even fulfill to pay for my family bills and stuff like that. My wife actually got two, not one, two loans from FIU to pay the rent. How depressive is that? So that was, that was actually my second strike when I was like, fuck, I need to make a change in my life. The first one, when my life changed around, my, my wake up call was when I was actually sitting on my mother's-in-law little room like this, bro, with a, with a, with a bed. And uh, it was her room, like, like you know, to, to create fucking uh, cakes and stuff. I was, do I put a bed on that room because I didn't have space for it. And I was sitting on that room, literally, to get off the bed, you was like this, bro, because it was the bed and the wall. And my wife told me, Gabe, I don't want to, I don't want to spend the rest of my life living like this. I want more. I want a house. I want this. And what I was thinking was like how much money I was making, which it was actually $1,100 a month. So, guys. How would you feel if you're making $1,100 a month? You're living in your parents-in-law house, okay? Only paying them $200. That's what I was paying. No rent. I was paying just $200 to contribute with the light expenses so I could save, listen to this, save money to buy a house. Making this. You know what I'm saying? The math doesn't add up. So we save about 10 grand. That's what we save. <laughs> about two years. Took me two years, motherfucking two years. But every time I was driving cars, piece of shit. Every time I bought a car on Craigslist for fifteen hundred dollars, the car didn't even last seven months. And then when the car fucking broke down, I needed to get money from this. So every time we went up, we went down because something broke. Because my mindset was broke. That's why my mindset was broke. So when my wife told me, Gabe, I don't want to live in this place like this, I was thinking, fuck, man, I'm only making eleven hundred dollars and sweating down through my fucking bag and woo, the chills. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know if you ever have experienced that shit. And it was fucking awful. It's because I was fucking on my mindset on my current situation. And that's why I was stuck there. But that was my first wake up call when my life changed in the sense of like, 
shit, I gotta do something, bro. I gotta do something to change that. So anyway, you know the rest of the story. But I was just gonna say the student loans, and some people wanna get nine years of college degree to get a doctor degree or whatever the fuck, which is not wrong. I mean, we need doctors because if we get sick, we need doctors. But what I'm telling you is like, guys, you are guys are here, you guys are different on mindset, you guys are entrepreneurs. You're not a common guy who just go out and, and, and feel safe by getting a check, you know what I'm saying? I don't like checks. I like to make my own paycheck. So that's why when you do something like that and you acquire the knowledge, nobody's gonna get you the knowledge out of your head, bro. Even if you're broke, tomorrow, tomorrow, whatever, you can make a relationship with someone who has money to invest and then you can run the whole shit for them. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta get creative for that. But anyways, guys, if you're in the US, contact a CPA, do an LLC because every investment you make on your business, whether whether you go to a mastermind, you buy courses or whatever it is, it's 100% tax deductible. I just want to touch that because that's extremely important for some people, you know? So guys, let's do a quick Q&A. It's already almost five, it's five, it's a 40. Let's do a quick Q&A. Let me know if this information is helpful for you guys. So, so we can continue just, you know, talking about this stuff. But, uh, you know, it's everything like I said, man. Everything we talk is related to business and uh, the, the business we run right now is, is Shopify. We call it Shopify because for now it's Shopify, but trust me, it, it's not gonna be Shopify for too much longer because there's a new platform my friend is actually about to release that is gonna fucking smoke Shopify out of the water. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about, forget about problems with merchants, forget about applications, forget about paying for fucking apps. Talking about having everything on one platform on the tip of your hand. You don't need to buy apps. It's just one-time payment. It's going to be extremely cheap. Once it's out and you, you see the demo I'm doing, you're going to be like, what the fuck? Where can I sign up? And it's going to look sick. Fully customized, better than stereo than Shopify because it's going to give you so much data on the newsfeed, on the, on the dashboard that you're going to be impressed. It's even gonna give you, I'm actually gonna share this with you because it's extreme. I'm so excited about this shit, bro. Look, I spill in my fucking finger. I press the thing and I spill in my finger. I'm excited. Listen, you're gonna be revenue for, I spell you, bro. You're gonna be revenue. Guys, try to see that fucking number daily, bro. Try, do me a favor, write it down. For daily revenue, daily revenue, 100K, you're gonna be able to see profit. How, you may ask, how, Gabriel, profit? Because every time you put a product up, you're gonna be able to put the cost of the product in the dashboard, we'll give you your profit. So let's say, I like to see 36K right there, bro. Okay, you're gonna be able to see 36%, $36,000 daily profit. Imagine what you can do with that money, man, daily profit. Invest it and make more money, bro. Listen, and if you ask me, oh shit, my battery is low. Give me one second. That was the phone. Uh, no, actually, yeah. If you ask me, man, I have myself over a thousand products in my store. And I have so many customer information in my store that I don't want it to switch. Well, guess what? It's only going to be a click of a button with an API connection <laughs> to switch over this new platform. So you can actually do click, obviously, and you got to wait. You gotta wait because it's gonna be a lot of data. And every fee, everything will be transferred over. Okay, even orders. Orders. Order them, right? I can even spell orders. Even orders will be transferred. We're talking about customer emails, orders, products, description, everything will be transferred from Shopify. Okay, through this new steroid cash machine I like that I like that cash machine so that's that's what's coming guys that's what's coming that's that's just a tip of an answer because man I, I dude I got a demo account but uh, why we not why is not out yet is because it needs to be fully fully on the cloud so it can support a lot of traffic 
We're talking about upsells, guys. Forget about using one-click upsell, man, and getting chargebacks and fucking chargebacks like a motherfucker because every time you got a high risk and they buy the upsell, the freaking app doesn't communicate with Shopify and you don't know that when you refund a product that is high risk with an upsell on Shopify, you get charged as a chargeback because the, the actual product does not get refunded in Stripe, which is stupid. So now we're preventing all the shit to happen that I almost cost me 50 grand because of that fucking leak, okay? Now everything will be in one platform. Even app sales will be included there. And you can even app sell so many different products by just clicking and dragging. It's gonna be amazing. Amazing, bro. No, it's not ClickFunnels. Oh, well, ClickFunnels, yeah, but it takes you a lot of time, bro, to just build a funnel. It's so tedious. So this platform is gonna be, man, I'm telling you, dude, once, once I can, do the demo, you guys see the demo, and man, it's gonna be, dude, I'm telling you, it's gonna be amazing. Not only that, listen to this, bro. Woo, I'm getting excited. It's gonna even have a print on demand and fulfillment connection built into this platform. Print on demand with even freaking uh, products for you to click and drag, and you will be putting a product up in seconds. We're talking about shoes, totes. Uh, freaking jackets, hoodies, t-shirts. So if you want to do print on demand within your store, you have everything there, even fulfillment connected. Everything connected. So you're going to be able to do everything. When it's out, look, we're talking about two months, more or less, for the platform to be fully up on Amazon Cloud so it can handle traffic like a motherfucker. As of right now, I have a demo account, but I haven't demoed it yet because we're so far away. Two months is far away. Hopefully before that, but I will give you guys an update that is, you know, I don't want to tease you and tease you and tease you. And then it's like, fuck, man, I cannot wait to get that shit because it's going to have my connection with Stripe, PayPal and merchants accounts. So we're talking about Stripe that you're going to be able to create multiple accounts, not Shopify payments, Stripe. That they're, they're, they're like getting, you know what I'm saying? They're getting, I don't know. I don't even want to talk about this stuff. But listen. You need to control your business. You cannot be on the jeopardy of someone else making the decision for you. That's why I love to work with merchants accounts and not freaking Shopify payments, okay? So guys, let's do a quick Q&A, okay? Let's do a quick Q&A. Someone had asked, business credit cards or personal credit cards? I use personal credit cards. If you can get a business credit card, good for you. That means that you've been in business for more than two years and your credit has been established. But some of the people, myself, I don't even have two years with my LLC. So uh, I don't have credit to get loans for my credit business. So all my credit cards are personal credit cards. Remy says he's been using Amex SPG for hotel points. He's applying for a credit card for cash right now. Yeah. Good. To the CPA, let me do it right now. His name is Align, okay, and his phone number is, just tell him Gabriel Beltran send you. No, the store, the store, dude, it could be whatever it is. The, the LLC is your LLC to handle the business, but my stores, they have nothing to do with the LLC. Align, tax accountant. Someone's asking, do you still drop ship? Yeah, I am. But what I do is simple, guys. Simple. Listen. You test drop shipping from China. If it works, you talk to. Uh, I have so many distributors now in US. It's not even funny. I got like four different distributors in US that they can actually buy the inventory for you and fulfill it for you, and they will buy on a weekly basis, so you don't have to fucking buy in bulk anymore. They will buy for you. Okay. So. Um, 
I do that. I tested drop shipping from uh, China, US, uh, worldwide, and if uh, I, I can get it to scale in US, I just contact the US supplier and I tell them, yo, I'm selling this much and I can scale to this much. So get inventory within a week. I have inventory in US and then I add the golden shipping rule. You already know that it says from US, such and such, or from or free shipping from China, two to three weeks. That rule is only displayed to the US people so the people worldwide, they see this, okay? Guys, get the number, please, because I'm about to raise the whiteboard. 305. 305-720-4260, align, account them. Tell them that Gabriel sent you. Again, align, 305-720-4260, okay? I'm gonna delete it. Guys, if anything, watch the replay and get the number and call them up. Now, this is what I'm telling you. You test. Worldwide and US both at the same time. If you get sales, good. If you get sales, here you can scale it. You can scale. Great. Then what I do is I get in US fulfillment. I get inventory. All right? They buy the inventory, not me. They buy. They buy. They buy on a weekly basis. So they buy with caution. Instead of buying a thousand units, they tell you what is the estimated for the week. You tell them, they'll get an estimate. And then when they're running low, they order more. And that's how you do it. Now, if I can get it to scale in US, I have fulfillment places in US. I have about four. Okay. Contact me if you guys need help on that. I will more than glad you share with you the contacts. So you guys can fulfill from US too. Now, what is this, okay? Then people in US, only people in US will see this. Only people worldwide will see this. Secure shipping, for example, 497. If you charge shipping, if not, it's gonna be free shipping, okay? 497, 594, or 599, that's the range you need to play around. Monitor your numbers closely, always split this and compare. Boom, done, worldwide. Then people for US, you create a rule only in US and the US is gonna be two options. I'll show you. What I do is I put 10,000 pounds, okay? That's called the golden shipping rule. And if you guys are inside the Eco Millionaire uh, the Econ Millionaire, you guys already know the module. It is, it's called the 10,000 Golden Rule. So both of them, both of them is going to be 10,000 and 10,000 and worldwide too. The worldwide, what are you going to do with the 10,000 and worldwide? It's going to say to, to scare them away. You know what I'm saying? To scare them and just fucking buy the shit. It's going to say free shipping, something you won't, <laughs> you won't do this there. It's going to say free shipping. Uh, two to three weeks from China. Okay, you never want to say that on a regular shipping for a worldwide campaign, but on US only, you can actually display both at the same time by using the 10,000 pounds shipping rule. So that way you can actually see that on US. I'm sorry, this is US. What am I talking, Gabriel? This is US, this is US. So what do we do is we create two shipping rules at 10,000. It's called the golden one. It's going to be free shipping and it's going to be free, absolutely free. And then they know free shipping two, three weeks from China if I'm buying from US. But at the same time, they're going to be displayed USPS. Oh, I, people love that. Brand. I love that. I get happy when I see that. USPS priority, priority mail. Three to five days, okay? And then, guess what? These people are gonna actually ship within one to two to three days, depend on which part of the United States are. So if the warehouse, one of the you want contact, this is United States, if the warehouse is located on the east side, okay, anything on the east side will take one to two days. If the uh, item is going to LA, which is the west side, it will take three days two to three days. Makes sense is because the distance of the warehouse to here is longer. Some of the warehouse have locations in the middle, so they're like boom, boom, middle, middle. 
But if the warehouse is located on the east side, it will be one to two days. If the order comes in at night, tonight, it's reflecting at night, well, it can, sometimes it's delivered within 24 hours. It's amazing, bro. People happy, people love you. So that's what it is, the, the golden shipping rule. And that's what I do to scale products like the ones I ran last year that make stupid money, the app stimulators and the little zoom, okay? And the black mask. All these products were fulfilled and scaled in US from US, okay? And uh, funny story, funny story is that, you know, a lot of people complain, actually, Ernesto, do me a favor, give me those two zooms. Give me, give me the Canon 70-220 and that one, yes. Guys, and this is the Canon, the, the blue one. Let me show you something, guys. This product made me over $2 million, okay? This product is a zoom lens for your iPhone. Now, this lens is $2,000 lens, okay, for my Canon, and this lens is only $34 if you buy it from me, but the cost is four bucks, all right? So I repeat, $4, $34 if you buy from me, this is $2,000, whatever you buy, $18.99 if you can get it on a special, okay? This is a version two of Ultrasonic, and it's amazing, it's a 70 to 200, it's super sweet, creamy, out of focus, oh, it's amazing, bro. Out of stability, look at all this shit. Guess what? I compare this lens and my ADD camera, which is a $1,500 camera, which we're talking about $3,500 setup, versus this fucking clip with an iPhone, and I zoom in on my phone, and we, guess which one has more zoom? Let me repeat. Which one has more zoom, A or B? A or B, guess what? Dude, it's hilarious, bro. It's hilarious. So I'm about to shoot a video myself and show the people, show my face, I don't give a fuck. Say, look, man, $2,000, $3,500 rig versus an iPhone and a clip. Which one has more zoom in? Whoop, zoom in and show you, and the video, zoom in and show you. And maybe, maybe, I don't know, I launch it again. <laughs> I still have inventory left, you know what I'm saying? I'll still have inventory left. But it, man, it's, it's amazing, bro. Yeah, B, you got it, bro. The cheap fucking lens has more zoom capability than this one. Now, obviously, the picture quality on this, nowhere near compared to this. But if you want to spy someone or see a tag number from a neighbor about like a half a block away or two or, or like a three quarters block away, this will do the job. You're going to be able to see the tag. This is not to take pictures. Obviously, this is just to zoom in and spy stuff. You know what I'm saying? If you have your daughter, your daughter making out with some motherfucker on the other corner, I'm like, I got you, baby. Whoa! And then I take a picture and say, what he was doing with that hand over there? Yeah, like, no, <laughs> right. I got you. I got you. So that's the deal. Put, put that back, please. Again, thank you so much, bro. So guys, that's what I'm telling you, man. Sometimes we have to buy the product in order to see the reality of it, you know, because we look at that, man. We can scale this thing to the moon, but uh, if people complain, it's because they don't know how to use it. A lot of people complain about this because they don't know how to use it because it's a little bit tricky. Let me just tell you why. Because you have to actually put it precisely right in front of the lens for the lens to actually be able to show something. Because if I show you my iPhone right now, you see my face and I put this right in front, especially on the, on the iPhone 7s, you're not gonna see shit. You see, you don't see shit. It's like, oof, I don't see nothing. But you gotta wiggle it and play with it. It's like, dude, it's like micro movement, honestly. It's like a literally, like, it's, 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 I'm telling you, it's not easy to, give me one second, guys. It's not easy to get it, to get it to show. Give me one second. One second. Yeah, it is super hard. It's not impossible, but. Check the cup. Huh? <laughs> 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 Motherfucker! Bro, I have a cup! <laughs> oh, dummy. Hold on. I'm like. <laughs> Good try, bro. <laughs> shit. That's why people return this shit because they're dumb as fuck. <laughs> 
They don't know how to use it, bro. Take the, and the next one, they're like, hey, Gabe, take the cut. I'm like, shit. I'm like, oh, don't, don't. Hold on. There you go. I got Moses here. Now let me just do it. Get the getaway. You are too close. The object is too close. Let me just do this, guys. Give me one second, guys. Actually, I, I can I can do this, so you guys can appreciate that. I'm gonna actually just move that move that out of the way. Move, move it back. Hold on. All right, let me see. Just um, try to get it over there. See. Hold on. Forget about that. Let me just get it over here because I want to demonstrate you how good of a product is. It's because I believe in the product, bro. Okay. Okay, hold on. Yeah. I got a young female walking a dog. So, check it out. This house is literally... This house is, and now I'm gonna take a picture without the zoom, so you guys can compare one to the other. Okay, cool. So we have now A and B. Check it out. This is the picture of the house and the cars. We, I know it's hard to see because it has a mesh without uh, with the zoom on the phone, and then. That one is with the zoom on it. You see, I can see everything, bro. Look at that and look at this. I mean, I'm telling you, the zoom is pretty powerful. Look. So, that's why, <laughs> that's why a lot of people don't know how to use it and they end up returning. So guys, colorín colorado, este cuento se ha terminado. Um, so that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this uh, this madness, nonsense live. Um, and I guess I'll see you next time. Can I post uh, comments in YouTube if they want answers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Post, guys, post comments. This video is going to be up on YouTube soon, uh, sooner than later. So please post comments and stuff like that. Uh, guys, contact the CPA guy. Uh, apply this stuff. Just I wanted to come in and just give you something so you can actually keep pushing, okay? If you're having a tough moment, Remember, bro, just mindset, man. Work on your mindset. Don't focus on your current situation. Progress is equals happiness. The more action you take, even if you're not seeing the results you want right now, every single step of the way is a journey. And once you do something, it's actional, it's progress, it's going to give you the feeling of happiness. But if you're just studying shit, studying, you're getting overwhelmed, not applying anything, you're going to get stuck where you are. So take massive imperfect action. Remember, every day is a beautiful day. Bye-bye.